Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Well, the control panel has got some lights on the front, as you can see. Only about just. Where's my torch? Here it is. As you can see, if it wants to work, I think I need to charge it actually. Just typical. Well, you can see the flash in there, the stripe, I don't know if you're epileptic. I think I've just uh, annihilated a shitload of friends. <laughs> Oh, it's flickering. Awesome. No, it is strobing. Looks like it's running off MOSFETs. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, got some lights on the front there. Had a bit of an issue with this LED here, as it didn't work and it's 24 volts. So I had to get the Dremel on it and cut the barrel off it and slide out the LED and replace it. Uh, but it keeps popping out the back now, because of course it hasn't got the original um, backing on it. But uh, I'll hot glue it in there or something, or some epoxy and resin on it, and hold that LED in. But as you can see, of course, I've, uh, this is why I wanted to make the video, just to show you uh, the lights working. And uh, of course, I'm going to be running it on a potential transformer, showing you the uh, Jacob's ladder. I know you've all seen this before, but I'm going to be pushing it a little bit and giving you some nice arcs. I originally just uh, had to rewire a bit of wiring on there to plug it in and I had a 13 amp fuse in it and the fuse got that hot it literally cooked the inside of the plug so I had to put another one on and use the uh, earth as a neutral uh, along with the uh, sorry with the live along with the live to give me a thicker wire which is just there so uh, Obviously, it should take uh, twice the current until I can get me a bit put on the front here where I can just uh, put some terminals on there and uh, obviously have it up to about 40 amps. So, anyway, I'm gonna not jabber on anymore, rabble on anymore, ramble on anymore, can't even say it now. I'll uh, show you some arcs, guys, what you've all been waiting for because I know you all love some arcs as we all do. So, here we go. As you can see, green light off, red light on, to show you that, uh, of course, green light means no ballasts are on. Now there is our ballast on. Let's crank it up. Oh, would be better if I switched it on. Let's get back a bit. Pretty impressive stuff. Works really, really well. Not bad at all. So then, guys. So, of course, that gives it... Uh, about 550 uh, 50 watts all in all there. And then of course, you can just crank it straight up to give yourself up to about 3,600 watts up to now. This one isn't doing anything at the minute, this switch, because of course, that is for uh, a future project. So, I'll get the light on and show you. Whew, smell those bars burning. So it looks pretty cool now. I've got some strobes on it, look. 
green light for when safe and red light for when of course in use but uh, they're not wired up yet that's something else to uh, I'm thinking about doing of course they're not they're on there just for show at the minute of course um, I'm just wondering whether or not that's worth doing whether or not it's pushing it a little bit too much and it's going to look daft but uh, that's my first control unit there with a little 8 amp variac and then that was the next one which is a 20 amp and then that's a even bigger monster originally that was 20 amps in the uh, data sheet for it but those windings are near enough twice the size of those bloody windings in that one and uh, a bit of a discussion between me and my mate John uh, whether or not it's, uh, you know, well, it can take a hell of a lot more than that. Of course, I bet he's going to put something on, on the old uh, comments just there because he's got the data sheet. So, John, just put the uh, original um, data for this mate on a comment because I can't remember what you told me now. But because uh, John, I think John's got uh, one or two of these variacs as well. But anyway, that is looking pretty damn cool. I am really, really liking the look of that. I haven't even showed you inside, have I? Isn't that looking awesome? There you can see, look, there's that LED lot, which I had to replace. Got to tidy the wires up a little bit more. Nothing's warm. Nothing's warm at all. All the red wires are all low current and low voltage. Some of them are high voltage, up to 220 volts. But, uh, 220, 230 volts. But uh, it's all low voltage, low, very low current stuff. And all the brown wires, of course, are, are a higher current. And all the... Uh, Baluster at the back and at the sides, just there. You can't really see in there. I've got a magnet on this on the rail just there, just to hold this thing short. But uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that unit. It's come on pretty well. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine a a uh, ZVS driver in that one as well? Come on, you stupid phone for a sling, you. So I thought I'd share that with the Army Progress. So thanks for watching. Look after yourselves and be safe, whatever you're doing. And uh, we'll speak again. Bye.